This episode of Spectre Creative is brought to you by Sliced Bread. If you have a new invention or a new idea and you're looking to compare it to something else, consider comparing it to Sliced Bread. Available now! Well, Star Wars toy fans, we finally made it to the end of an era, the end of Power of the Force 2. Okay, well, we have a couple uh, single-carded things to wrap up, but really the last of the major retail releases, and as part of the end of Power of the Force 2, of course, came the beginning of Episode 1, which was promoted as far back as a year without a title, but just the promise of more new and the flashback using the pod race and the skiff battle creates parallels, I guess. Hey, they're both battles on, or battles, events on Tatooine. Hey, why not? All right, so this three-pack, this cinema scene, contained three skiff guards, count them one, two, three, and I never saw this one in stores. This is one of the few items I had to buy off eBay, which at the time was a little bit of a painful pill, but I remember getting it. I was in college. This is the student center at UC Santa Barbara, and I remember running up to the top floor to this balcony right there and opening it and just enjoying them. It was the first figures I'd gotten in like a year. All right, it's amazing how you can like remember where you were when you got certain toys. I should do a video on that. All right, coming soon. Anyway, skiff guards. Yes, we love them. They're popular. In fact, one of the reasons they're so popular is because the skiff is a vehicle and a battle zone. And we'd already gotten one skiff guard as a single-carded figure, and that was the Requay, which was an update of the Kenner Requay, which was the same one, since there were many Requays, but this was the Kenner one. And now we could add three more guards, which a lot of us thought were all updates of vintage figures, but not quite. Now, we did also get Lando, of course, in skiff guard disguise, which he's absolutely part of the skiff scene, but he's not, you know, one of Jabba's hired goons. He's, you know, undercover. He's a spy. He's a turncoat. And keeping track of both skiffs and all the characters. I mean, remember, there were two skiffs, right? There was the guard skiff, which is this one here, and then there's the prisoner skiff, which is the one where most of the action happens until Luke jumps to the other one and starts, you know, doing all of his badass Jedi Luke stuff. So, yeah, lots of characters to keep track of, not to mention all of the ones that are actually just on the sail barge and participate because they poke their head out a window or, you know, they're on the top part aiming guns and actually shooting Luke the first time anyone actually shoots a rebel. I mean, Leia later gets hit on Endor, but this that guy had, like, better aim than any stormtrooper. All right, well, on our road to getting all of the skiff guards and Jabba's aliens that were involved in this battle, we were given a leg up with a three-pack, getting three figures at once. And, yeah, this was really groundbreaking because, again, we all felt we were getting the, the Nikto, the Klaatu, and the Barada that were from the Vintage line. So there was three updates, three skiff guards, all at once. Now, it should be noted that... Uh, while we like to think that everything in the world came from Star Wars, it didn't. Nikto, Klaatu, Barada are not Star Wars names. They were just used in Star Wars. Did anyone see the movie Tron? No. 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 Yes. I mean, um, I mean, no. No. All right, I know I'd have to give up my film degree that I was at UC Santa Barbara for if I said this was from Tron. No, it just shows up in Tron, too. It's from the classic, one of the most classic science fiction films of all time, The Day the Earth Stood Still. So, yes, Gort Nikto Barada Klaatu was the password, the, or the passcode that would be used on the robot. And if you've only seen the modern remake or you've never even seen either, this it's, it's one of those films that, you basically, you know, should put on your bucket list because it was just so amazingly influential. And hey, the names from the Robot Command showed up in Star Wars. And for years, we've all assumed that that's what these characters' names were. And this cinema scene pack kind of reinforced that since the characters were called Nikto, Barada, Klaatu, just like the vintage line had characters. All right, we're about to dive in. And, uh, well, I think Chief Wiggum put it best. Oh boy, this is going to get worse before it gets better. Because the vintage figures and the modern figures and the names, well, some of them are the characters' names, and some of them are their species' name. We know that a Nikto is a Nikto, hence this figure, Nikto Jedi. Nikto clearly a species' name, 
not a character's name, but this is just kind of scratching the surface. We have to go a little bit deeper. So in the vintage line, we had Klaatu, who was in his Skiffguard white shiny outfit, but there was also Klaatu in his helmeted, skirt-wearing Jabba palace outfit, standing directly behind uh, Luke right before Luke goes into the Rancor pit, so we have some cool screen time there. Anyway, the point is a lot of people thought this was the same alien, the same way you could get Luke in different outfits, you know, like Hoth, Bespin, or, you know, Night Stalker. So it wasn't that at all. Klaatu was, well, it was a species, but it's evolved into a name. All right, I told you this was going to get more confusing before it got better. So this is Klaatu. That's his name. And it's not his species name at all. He's a Nikto, just like this guy is a Nikto. Niktos have two different uh, shades. They can come in orange and they can come in green, just like on Earth. We have blacks, whites, yellows, reds. There's lots of skin colors. Now, this guy here, Barada, well, the modern figure is Kathuba. So that's actually this character's name. And this is the point where we start getting in pretty deep. So hang on, we're going to be uh, looking at a lot of old names, new names, and, you know, Star Wars lore because that's what the internet's all about, and that's why we have YouTube. It's why Al Gore invented the internet. All right, so vintage figure, Barada. Not his name. His name, all Star Wars characters get names from West End Games or later from the, uh, the card game. Even though he was called Barada on package, his, his name from either Decipher or West End Games, probably West End Games, is Kathuba. This character from the cinema scene we're talking about is Barada. That's his name. So we have Kathaba, Kathuba, Kithaba, Kithaba. Let's go with Kithaba. Kithaba and Barada. So Kithaba has a black bandana. Barada has a yellow bandana. Red pants versus blue pants. So this character with the red pants, I feel like I'm making a Deadpool reference here, is Kithaba, but called Barada in the vintage line corrected in the modern line as Kithaba when it was released in the Vintage series. So a update of the Vintage figure called Barada. But Barada, as a name, again, not his species name, is this guy. This guy's name is Barada, Mr. Barada, or maybe, you know, Barada's his first name, Barada Jones. So Vintage figure Barada is Kithaba, not, well, you know how it worked back in the day. I got a walrus man to sell you. Exactly. The names didn't always match up. It was all about having fun. All right. All of these characters, these uh, Barada and Kithaba, are from Klaatuine, which is confusing because uh, Klaatu was one of the characters. But Klaatu is not from Klaatuine. So told you this was going to get more confusing than it got better. All right. So here we have then Klaatu, not from Klaatuine. So, a modern update of the vintage Klaatu Skiffguard. Again, not to be confused with the other Klaatu, which was in Jabba's palace. So, received a modern update, again, in the vintage line, and called Klaatu on package. This is now his proper name. Not a species name, and definitely not a password for a robot. Um, he is a Nikto, as far as a species, so... Nikdos are come in both red orange and greenish bluish. So I wish I came in bluish. I'm just Jewish. Alright, so they're from the planet Tinian. So Nikdos from one planet, and then Barada Kathuba Kathuba being from Klatuine, where Klatu is a Nikdo from Kinyan. Oh, man, who keeps track of this stuff? Thank goodness we have, like, the Internet and Wikipedia and my old Star Wars encyclopedia. God, I miss books. All right. Whew. So let's get back to this three-pack. So here we have Klaatu, his name, Barada, his name, and Nikto, his species. But interestingly, not the vintage figure. So this character called Nikto on package a lot of people assume was the updated Nikto from the Kenner line, but notice that it was not. There was more than one Nikto and more than one uh, green Nikto, what we used to think of as Klaatu's, because he was called Klaatu. All right, well, anyway, I'm going backwards before I should be going forward. So this guy is Lathe, L-A-F-T-H-E, Lathe, 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 I don't know. 
versus this Nikto is Vizem, who was released first in the 3 and 3 4 Black series and then got a release on the vintage carded line, and actually then again in a vintage 3-pack, but I'm getting ahead of myself. All right, so you can see Vizam there down in the bottom right, and then actually your left, my right. And then here we have Lith, Lith, Life, the, the vintage figure that was called Nikto. So species name, but now gets proper names, both in terms of, well, this one didn't actually, and this one was still called Nikto on package, even when he got released in a modern line with super articulation, thank goodness for that vintage line, it really was hitting a peak at this point. And heck, they even managed to get out Barada, or rather Kithaba, in both vintage colors and modern colors, screen accurate black headband, and then the vintage line had a red. So that was kind of cool too, even though still not Barada. And don't even get me started with this whole re-release with this three-pack where you even had another character that was just called Skiffguard. So who also had a full name in his previous release. That's a whole other YouTube video. We'll, we'll put that one to rest, because I like to keep these things to about 10 minutes. It gets more confusing, but at least I think we've settled that Klaatu, Barada, Nikto, a mix match of names, planets, species, and uh, at least we got a really good three-pack, even if it was darn hard to find. Still regret having to go to eBay, but you know what? You have to cross over to the dark side.